Grill Sergeant here, what's going on Grill Billies? If you're a regular here on this channel, you know that 90% of the time we are smoking on a vertical smoker. And Pit Boss was like, dude, we know you love vertical smokers. We really want you to try a barrel type smoker and experience not only the smoking side, but also that searing action that can happen that you really can't get with a vertical. So Pit Boss sent me the brand new Pro Series 2 1150, but I have a problem. My wife said pretty much verbatim, if you get another grill or smoker, I am calling hoarders. I don't want her to freak out over another grill. So I'm gonna show you guys how to properly hide and conceal a brand new smoker from the spouse. Let's start the show. Now, when getting a new grill or smoker, it's best to assemble it right away, put a cover over it, and if you get asked like, hey, what's up with that? Just say you've always had it. But in my case, it's brand new in the box, and I actually have to run down to the store right now. There's a huge meat sale going on. I can't miss out, but I don't want my wife seeing this box. She's gonna flip out. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to conceal this even in plain sight. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is find a heavy duty tarp. A painter's tarp will do. And you know, it just looks like you're, you know, you're doing some, you know, construction-esque type work. Now, if your spouse asks about the painter's tarp, just saying you're doing some honeydew lists around the house. She will give you a great big kiss on that forehead and it will actually score you some extra points. But for an added level of security, I came up with this sign. This sign says not a smoker. Now this is a crucial detail to really help convince your spouse that this in fact is not a smoker. When I get back, we'll assemble this, but I hope our disguise is actually good enough. All right, I'll see you guys in a few, all right? A few moments later. Ooh, is that candy? Mom, he did it again. It's enough to get me to the boiling point. Oh no, this is the smoker that broke the camel's back. That's it, I have to call hoarders. Hello, hoarders. Yes, I called last week. I was concerned my husband was gonna buy another smoker or grill, and he did. I need you to come immediately. Okay. Help is on the way, Ezra. Hi, are you Christine? That was fast. Hi, I'm Taylor, but you can call me Tyler. So tell me about your husband. Well, he's just been obsessed with buying grills and smokers. Thank it's you. taking over our patio, our barbecue. I mean, our kids have nowhere to sit. As a vegan male, I know most men just need one propane barbecue tops. So first mistake she made is she said okay to one grill. Epic mistake, but it's okay. We're here to fix this. We just need to get him here and just confront him and he has to start throwing away as many grills as he's comfortable throwing away. Hey honey, I just got back from the butcher. Why are all those got junk trucks out here? And who's this? This is Taylor, but you can call him Tyler. Howdy. He's with Hoarders, and they've got their got junk trucks to get rid of all this barbecue and smoker junk. Oh man, this is crap. Are you literally questioning me? I directed Grills Gone Wild. This was the most number one top selling VHS in 1997. The only thing that's junk here is you, Taylor, Tyler, whatever your name is. I'm taking you out the trap. Ah, the Grills Gone Wild! All right, I'm gonna grill you. And sorry for interrupting with that chaos. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm glad I got rid of that guy. I guess the only thing I didn't account for is the kid pulling off the tarp. Anyway, I'm gonna assemble this thing right now and then we'll tune back and we'll check it out. All right, all right. We got the Pit Boss Pro Series 2 1150 assembled and I am thoroughly impressed. I already got to use this grill once. We did a barbecue work party. I was able to throw 40 pounds of tri-tip on and this smoker handled it like a champ. So everything was 
perfect at the party. This thing uh, was a rock star. Compared to the Brunswick, this thing heats up in about half the time just because the chamber is a lot smaller than the vertical smoker. Some features that are really cool is this front shelf here folds out that if you did want to, you know, basically put, you know, a sauce tray here, if you're saucing some ribs, this does fold up. And if you don't need it, it can also fold down. The side panel over here, you basically have three knobs to hook your spatulas and grill scraper. That's pretty cool. You have your smokestack here, um, ample space under the hood. You could easily fit three briskets on this bad boy. The side hopper is pretty impressive at 33 pounds. Um, you could definitely fill this bad boy up and definitely do a few overnight of a night. You could definitely do a few overnight smokes on that. You have a front glass sight so you can see uh, inside. But my favorite feature is this lever that you can basically pull open and then you have direct access to that burn pot if you want to do a nice sear. So I am excited to use that. Well guys, the real reason Pit Boss sent me this 1150 is for the next 14 videos we're gonna do, we're actually gonna be looking at every blend of pellets that Pit Boss makes. So for the next 14 videos, basically one video each, we're basically going to review every bag of pellets that Pit Boss makes. And I'm excited because personally, I'll get to go through their entire lineup and then find out what I personally like but I will also be giving, you know, kind of the, the notes as far as, oh, this wood had, you know, strong flavor behind it. This one had a very, you know, either light or strong smoke behind it. So I'll get to kind of give you my feedback on that. But as of July 2021, Pit Boss has 13 different blends of pellets. And I did say 14 because the last video is going to be a surprise. Keep an eye out for that, but we're just going to be using this one a lot. We still will be using the tabletop and the vertical, but this 1150 is definitely going to make an awesome job at testing out those pellets. So that being said, if you do have any questions about the 1150, I'd be happy to answer them, leave them in the comments. But so far I am a huge fan and I, I don't know. I think, you know, I've always been a fanboy of the verticals, but I think Pit Boss just changed my mind at how awesome the barrel type smokers are. So that being said, I can't wait to actually start doing the pellet test on this. Stay tuned for that. Any questions, leave a comment. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, Grill Sergeant out. Cheers. That's right, the shirt says Body by Steak. A fan from the show sent me this shirt and I love it. Bonus points if you can comment the wrestler who actually wears this shirt.